Next thing I know, this man was like, okay, well, we have you on camera stealing. Huh? Come again. You know the vibes. Go ahead and sit back, relax, grab your little snacks, and tune in for this tea. Hey, don't get by none of that shit. By none of that shit. Don't get by none of that shit. All right, y'all. So I don't know if you seen my last story time, um, Friday story time, but I advise you to stay to the bloopers. Nine times out of ten, my videos don't have bloopers, and that's where I mentioned I was having a giveaway. And if you watch just my other videos, I mentioned that I was having a giveaway there too. So I'm having a giveaway. I'm giving away some Gucci slides, size I think they a size seven. No, they are a size seven. And um, I'm about to pick a winner. I'm on the video right now. It was my fashion kicks lover video that's why i mentioned the giveaway first and i just mentioned it in my story time too so i'm about to pick a winner let's go through these comments y'all know how we do it here i still ain't downloading no app so we finna boom 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 and pick a winner like that it is a lot of spam comments too so y'all i feel like fashion dupe videos get a lot of spam comments so this was like my fourth time doing this that's why i didn't scroll too much i kept picking spam maggie love Maggie, why is everybody? Oh, I was like, why is everybody um responding to somebody? But there, that page, that um Telegram page, I was pretending to be me, was actually under my video telling people that they won, and people was responding. Y'all, I am so sorry. I didn't even look at comments under here. I didn't know that y'all thought y'all had won. But Maggie, love, you did just win. Okay, first let me check to see if you a subscriber, which I think you are, public subscriber. Thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna have another giveaway too, so just, you know. But yeah, Maggie Love, hit me up. Okay, let's get right into this video. Before we do, y'all, make sure y'all following me on my social medias. Um, If you're on the membership, make sure you're following that page. Follow my main Instagram page and my TikTok. I just recently made a new Twitter. So y'all can follow me there if you have Twitter too. Um, What else? Make sure y'all please give this video a thumbs up. This Starbucks got me burping. Sorry, I'm gonna cut it out so y'all don't have to hear that. But um, please give this video a thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment, say anything. Hey girl, I'm here. Hey sis, y'all. I remember asking y'all last week and y'all actually did it. I love y'all so much. Like, I really appreciate that. Because it helps me so much. It helps get me through to the algorithm, you know. Just, anyway, make sure you like it. You know, I'm not gonna ramble. We are gonna get right up into this video, like I said. <laughs> this video is honestly very embarrassing, y'all. Sometimes I do that little laugh when I'm uncomfortable. So I do not find is funny at all and actually i want to make a point to say this um don't ever get this desperate there's always a better way there's always a different way just don't ever get so desperate to the point where you got to do what i did okay i was dumb young that's not an excuse at all because i knew better but i still chose to do it don't ever do this all this stuff that i was doing your girl could have been behind bars like for real i'm telling y'all this as a cautionary tale one of my aunts do watch this video shout out to you i love you and i just want to say don't judge me okay listen i lied i think i lied to one of my aunts and i'm pretty sure she told the other and i said that i quit walmart but in reality walmart fired me and i acted a damn monkey okay when they when they fired me the audacity you know like girl you the one up here doing all this and you gonna act crazy this is very embarrassing, but I'm gonna just get into it. Okay. Um, in total, I worked at Walmart for about two years. And it was, I mean, in the beginning, it was okay because you know you're young and you just getting a job. Like you and and on top of that, it was like a lot of people my age that worked there, especially on my shift, which I worked overnight. I started off working um seven to ten, like everybody else. Or no, I'm seven to ten. 10 at night to 7 a.m but then i switched to um 6 or no what am i i'm sorry y'all i switched to 9 p.m to 6 a.m at one point so yeah we worked overnight and i loved it firstly i just want to say that everybody that's worked in walmart has taken something let's get that out the way i don't care if you a manager customer service manager you work in a bag or you just a regular stalker cashier you have stolen something from Walmart before. I don't care if it's just like down to a stick of gum, bag of chips, or a soda, up to literal iPhones, 
um games cds you have taken something i've literally seen it and i've seen managers come up to the front take what they want and then walk off it for me it started off small like that you know like a bag of chips or a soda or whatever go on my snack i mean go on my break or just walk around doing returns eating hot cheetos drinking soda started off small like that eventually i started up in the ante okay because i went to eyeshadow makeup y'all i don't know what happened right here but my sound went out all i was really trying to say was it started with small stuff like the makeup like i just named and like maybe like a a movie or something small like that allegedly okay y'all know i gotta add allegedly because this is just very very incriminating like, i remember the girl who eventually wrecked my car she was helping me do it she was doing it too like actually that girl was doing the most allegedly five finger and wands crimper honestly we both were because i was all helping kinds of stuff. And i remember dre telling me to like chill out and stop doing it and like whatever mind you he was five finger and two so the audacity but yeah and if we're being real honestly i feel like a lot of people did it you could ask any employee what on my ship at the time when i was working there walmart treated you horribly that's for one you had to deal with a lot of i don't know what i can say but sexual harassment not only from employees and managers but from customers too it was just like they overworked you underpaid you nine dollars was just not cutting it for me no more at, at, mm, at that time for all the stuff that they made you do you would clock out and then they would tell you to go finish doing what you was doing like sir i clocked out and i'm about to leave no you got to do it and me being young and stuff, I would stay the extra hour and do it. So, I don't know. A after a while, I just caught on to the finesse. And I was like, they really getting over on this. So, I'm going to get mine back. I'm going to get my time back. I'm going to get my money back. Whatever. And I and I, a lot of people actually used to say that. I was going to feel. I was gonna say I feel like a lot of people actually used to say that. But I've heard it. That's kind of, that's pretty much the mindset I had. But honestly, if you feel that way on a job, get another job. If you feel like the money is not like adding up to how much work you do leave that job just get another one don't do what i did my bad y'all i had a phone call but um anyway like i said that was my mindset so i used to sashay my little ass up into walmart every night and i'd be thinking to myself like oh, what little treat i'm gonna get myself tonight like what well, you know what's on the what's on the menu reaching out <laughs> <laughs> did that for a little minute and honestly there was a point in time where i kind of chilled out and it was around the time that my friend chelsea and her boyfriend um scammed me they took all my money out of my bank account and if you want to watch that video you can i'm gonna like put it on the screen maybe in the description too and that'll tell you a little bit more or actually i'll tell you everything you need to know about how they scammed me i was fighting for my life with my bank and everything and thinking back that could have been karma for what i was doing at walmart but dang karma gonna hit me like that my friend did it to me like if anybody else did it to me i'd be like all right that's karma but a friend dang so yeah i'm fighting that um fraud case with my bank right i'm flat broke and i'm desperate i don't have nothing so i remember one day going to work y'all nobody noticed i promise i never tell nobody this because it's just very embarrassing now this happened before i got caught at home depot but i never mentioned it in the home depot story because i never thought i was gonna get up on camera and ever ever this is something i was really gonna take to the grave because what anyway that's why i had a attitude the whole time and when it was happening at home depot and that's why i popped off and cussed them out so hard like that i go to work and um i work the whole shift it's like 5 a.m at this point and 5 a.m is real slow like nobody really up there but i do know that like 6 a.m um some of the other managers start coming in because you know they come in early getting ready for the change off at seven and i was like okay this is the point where it's real slow and i'm just thinking to myself like just mindlessly doing my job doing transactions and my it's not a lot of people so i remember doing this one transaction and something i think i was moving too fast to the point where i just wanted to like get them out of my face so they gave me the money and i hurry up gave them re the receipt before i could even count it to see if they got changed i guess they gave me the right amount i don't know that happens a lot like if it's a little bit of change they'll just let you keep it or whatever and put it in your drawer so i give them a receipt they walk off my drawer is still open my cash register and i'm just counting the money right so i'm just in the drawer putting the tens with the tens and the twenties with the twenties and i'm just thinking to myself like i don't got shit to my name like you know all these um desperate thoughts is just coming to my head and i decided in that very moment to allegedly 
okay because walmart ain't finna give me this is all allegedly so from taking a bag of chips and a few eyeshadows to taking money out the register and i know you like what the fuck you just say you took money out the register yeah allegedly i took money out the register i i'm i'm honestly not telling y'all this to give y'all ways to finesse like i said earlier i'm telling you exactly what i did and i'm also telling you not to do it i feel like i gotta make that crystal clear and if we just being real i was like i was in a really low mental place um as you like if you watch that other story telling about my friend scamming me i kind of speak on it but i was really low mentally my friend had just played me then she turned around trying to gaslight me and um i don't know i just was desperate like i said there's a better way so what i'm thinking is like i know that i have an hour before traffic start to pick up in the store and i have an hour before i get off and somebody come up to the register and relieve me so in that moment i decided to do i decided to do the most sloppiest crackheaded kleptomaniac dumb shit ever okay don't ask like this to me i was being slicker than a can of oil okay on camera i probably look dumb as hell so this is what i did so i'm just counting the change extra slow because like i said i had already put the other cash where the cash go so i'm counting the money extra slow um pretend to drop some coins grab a napkin because the napkins was like i don't know how to explain walmart cash registers besides the fact that the cash register is up top and then at the bottom we got like napkins and all kinds of stuff down there so i grab a napkin and it's like a roll so i break a piece off pretend like i'm doing shit with my nose whatever mind you those little things that you gotta flip up they already up because i never put them down so yeah i i, I dropped the napkin on there did i mention this was allegedly because oh my god <laughs> she just okay um so yeah the napkin is on the 20s mind you so i dropped the napkin on the 20s and i remember just like doing dumb shit just fumbling everywhere and then i hurry up pick the napkin up while grabbing as many 20s as i could hold in the napkin and balling it up like super quick pretending to play with my nose again and then putting the balled up napkin on the side of the register because there was like a little side of the register it's gonna be a lot of voiceovers because i was editing way too quick and i do not want to start over anyway while i was doing all this fumbling i was like acting fake frustrated because i was fake dropping coins and doing all this and now that i was like man oh my god what the hell what the fuck i'm so sick of this job oh my god i want to go home da, da, da. you know just trying to refocus people's attention if they was like walking by and make it seem normal and i hurry up close register and i was anxious as fuck for the rest of my shift mind you i'm on register 15 and there the manager's office is in the front bitch i don't even know if a manager was in that office because y'all know at walmart that manager's office the um the mirror the window is like a darker it's, it's tinted basically you can't see if nobody's in there like if you was to look in there you would just be looking at darkness but inside of the manager's office they can see you perfectly it's kind of like one of those two-way things that the police station got six o'clock hit the um customer service manager that I get on my entire nerves the membership know about her <laughs> that lady i ain't even gonna say her real name on here but i say her real name on the main on the membership that customer service manager comes to relieve me and i i sped walk to the back to clock out whole way to the back anxious as hell hurry up and, like i'm speed walking and i feel like everybody giving me dirty looks because they know what i just did and whole time it was really my guilty conscience but i'm just like everybody looking at me funny like what the fuck like because walmart first of all walmart was so messy so if anything happened it was spread around walmart like that nobody knew shit okay well i don't think <laughs> get to the back clock out as i'm like um walking back up to the front to leave i'm thinking i'm trying to think of a lot of whole time because duh my register gonna come up short i don't know how much i got like but my napkin was thick as fuck so i'm thinking like bruh i probably took too much on accident i immediately started thinking about how to put that shit back because i was scared i'm like no this shit is not worth it whatever obviously i can't go back up there to put it back so i don't know i'm just trying to think of a lie now at this point like i can't go back i've come too far to go back what I come up with was um, one of the scam, like I was just going to say like one of those dudes that be running the cards came in and he took me fast. He took me fast because first of all, that almost happened a few times. Actually, it did happen uh, one time, but I think I was just like $20 short and I think they took it out of my check. So, and that was nothing. It was just $20. But dudes used to come in, they used to get the money cards, 
put like a thousand dollars on it or something i don't know what they used to be doing but they used to fast talk you them short in or short change people used to come in and try to talk you um talk fast and switch up and blah 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 y'all know y'all know what i'm talking about but yeah them people really did come in and try to get over on you so i'm just gonna be like yeah they took me fast basically y'all i promise you i did not want to be in walmart i'm speed walking to the front door but at the same time i did not want to go outside like 10 times more because I'm thinking, I'm going to get to my car and I'm going to think I'm cool. But before I could drive off, a police car going to come up behind me, block me off so I can't run and get away, pull me out the car, handcuff me, hold my ass down to jail. Everybody going to see it and it's going to be all over Facebook and Instagram tomorrow or not even tomorrow morning, this morning. Because mind you, it's 6 a.m. So I was like scared as hell. But you know, like... I know y'all, some of y'all, I ain't gonna say everybody because people be like, bitch, I never did this, but whatever. <laughs> most of y'all don't find finger before. So, you know, you get the most anxiety when you go into the door, even if you have an, an adrenaline rush the whole time, the anxiety come when it's time to walk out. So that's what was happening to me. Plus, Walmart got that little camera room by each one of the doors, asset protection. So I'm thinking, bruh, as soon as I get by this door, am I gonna have to take off? Because I will. And you know, if you're on a membership, you know, I don't mind hitting parked cars and driving off. Because I was such a bad driver when I first started driving to work, y'all. In the morning, I didn't not, I didn't, like, y'all, I couldn't tell, like, how close I was to other cars. So, I would back out, hit poles, hit cars, and just speed off. So, <laughs> allegedly again, I don't know. I don't want no insurance company contacting me or, I don't know. I get to my car, obviously nothing happened, and duh, because I'm an overthinker. Uh, I'm an overthinking kleptomaniac having an anxiety attack, so nothing was going to happen. Anyway, I get in my car and I drive off, like, immediately, because I don't want my little scenario to happen, because it could still happen. You know, I, there was a time, if you watch my, I got caught stealing from Walmart store time. This was after, years after I quit Walmart, but listen, when we was creeping up at that door, I thought I was cool. That man came out that asset protection room. That was all she wrote. She ain't right no more. That was it for us. So yeah. Yeah, I ended up driving around the corner because I don't know. For some reason, I thought Walmart cameras was so high tech that if they see me like opening this napkin in a parking lot, that can be incriminating. Girl, them cameras can't see that far. But I drove around the cam um, the corner and I parked and I just like picked the napkin up and I'm thinking like, I don't fucked up. Like I really fucked up. This napkin is thick as hell. I'm contemplating not even going back to work because I'm like, this is at least $200 and there's no way to explain how my drawer is short $200. So I'm just having like a full on another anxiety attack after I just calmed myself down. I'm having another one because like, bruh, Walmart got my address. They know my social security number. They got all my information, everything they need to haul my ass down to jail. Come and find me and haul my ass down to jail. So I'm just thinking about like never going back. And I don't know. I just didn't want those problems. So I opened this napkin, straighten out the money, start straightening it out. Bitch, I ain't have much straightening to do. I ain't have much straightening to do. I opened this fucking napkin, grabbed the money out, and $40. it's two twenties. Bitch, you telling me you risked it all for forty dollars? Forty dollars, y'all. I can't explain how dumb as hell I I felt. Like I, when I figured out it was forty dollars, I'm like, why the fuck is this napkin so thick, y'all? I had I had pulled off the thickest piece of fucking napkin didn't fold it up didn't even realize like i did everything so fast i'm not realizing bro this is a big ass piece of napkin i can't i can't explain it i felt dumb as hell at that point i was like bro i really need to put this shit back because but at that point it was really too late because they take your drawer out and they count it when you leave so that drawer is already short even if i did put it back like the next night my that drawer was going to be 40 dollars over that still is going to raise red flags so god it was so fucking stupid stupid like I, I can't I can't this is why I'm embarrassed I'm pretty sure I could have asked my aunt for $40 I could have asked my ex Dre for $40 we was, at, we was together at this time I could have asked him for $40 but mind you I thought I had grabbed me like a 200 no you grabbed a thick ass napkin dummy <laughs> I, I felt like a crackhead to be honest like that's the closest feeling I ever like you know felt like that's the only time I ever felt like a crackhead for real, right there. 
And, and besides that time I was feeding for that uh, THC pen. <laughs> so fast forward to the next night. I'm scared shitless to go to work. Mind you, I put that money in my top dresser drawer and I didn't even touch it for like days, probably a week. So that money just sitting in my drawer at this point. So I got to work early, scoping out the scene, just driving by both doors, seeing if security was like lingering by the door, waiting for me at the door. Cause I was sure when I got to work that night, there was gonna have the police waiting on me at the door. Okay, at the door. But I get up in there, obviously it was my anxiety. Um, I get up in there and it was cool. Like the whole shift was cool. I worked my whole shift and everything was good. So I was like, okay. Honestly, y'all, me think, don't ever think, like, if you do something like this, not even if you taking money out the register or whatever, if you just, like, taking stuff from your job, say you work at Walmart, you're taking chips and sodas and CDs and shit like that. Well, not CDs, girl. They don't have CDs no more, for real. Um, what? Games? Who knows? Whatever you taking and you getting away with it, just know that they are being patient and they are patiently building a case behind the scenes on your ass. And it's coming. It might not come now and it might not come next month. Because I was working at Home Depot for like a minute after that shit went down. So, message. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Just know that they building a case on you. Um, I can't concentrate when messages keep popping up. So, yeah. About a week go by at this point. And I'm thinking I'm good. Y'all, my sound went out again. Okay. So, like I said, a week go by. Um, my customer service manager asked me about the money being missing after this week had gone by, right? So she asked it real casual and I'm not thinking nothing of it. Like I'm really thinking I'm selling her my story because I stuck to the same story that I was going to tell about the scammers and I think they took me fast and blah, blah, blah. And she, I'm thinking she eating that shit up and she buying it. No, no. And honestly, I really think that this $40 coming up missing put the target on my back because I don't know, nothing was really, they probably was building a case against me before this, but this probably escalated escalated it what was i thinking so after a week i'm like okay i'm good and my silly self go back to taking small things like eyeshadow eyeliner maybe a lip liner lipsticks lip gloss whatever just stuff like that it's been by two three weeks at this point i remember this one particular night and i'll never forget it because <laughs> it's gonna go down um i'm at customer service you know just sorting out baskets like taking stuff from the bins putting them in baskets whatever doing my job basically um then one of the managers she was actually a cool manager she was the manager that used to flirt with dre before me and dre got together and he would always tell me like yeah she was letting me drive her a car and da, da, da. i'm like where did you drive her car to talk about she drove he drove her car to whataburger so y'all going on whataburger dates Mind you, me and Dre was like 19, about to turn 20. And this lady was like at least in her mid-30s. Ma'am, can you stop flirting with him? Because, um, yeah, that's me, baby. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I remember her calling him cute and shit one time, whatever, talking about his dreads. Anyway, she come up and she tell me that I need to go, I need to follow her to get my evaluation. That's what it was because... What Walmart gives you these like evaluations to see if you like earned or you like deserve a raise mind you I think the raise was going to be like 50 cent give me that 50 cent come on now this was around the time when I first started working there again so this would be like my what two year anniversary it was around that time so every year they do it once a year so I follow her to the back mind you we walk into the back where the employees only go and all the way to the back we talking popping a joke here and there or whatever she acting cool as hell until we get to the employees only y'all know them gray doors that you go through there's like it's big back there so there was a room to the left and I'm thinking, because I don't even know why this didn't even click to me. Because last time I got my evaluation, it was um at the front. It was in the front of the store by in the manager's office by the registers. So this time it's in the back. Y'all, what? It was not clicking, Steven. So I'm just thinking everything cool. She sent me in that room and she was like, okay, um, just wait right here and somebody gonna come in here. Okay, cool. So I'm in a room. I'm just chilling, scrolling on my phone, thinking everything cool. Somebody opened the door. I'm thinking it's a manager. I turn around. It's some dude that I ain't never seen before with glasses and a mini little laptop thing. He sit down, y'all. Mind you, this was before Home Depot. So I didn't even know what was to come. By the time I got to Home Depot and that situation happened, I knew 
I kind of like it clicked faster than this time. And if you see my Home Depot story time, you already know where this is going. So yeah, and then the manager that um I'm not even gonna give her a name honestly. The one that came and got me and sat me in a room, she came back in there too with him. So I turn around, I'm smiling like, hi, you know, I'm ready for my my evaluation, whatever. I'm smiling. Neither one of them give me a smile, but he kind of does like a little smart thing like like that and the man the not she wasn't even a manager y'all she was a customer service manager so i guess she kind of was but whatever she was stone faced like you wouldn't even thought we had been talking or joking around or nothing that should have been a red flag i was just like okay what crowd up her ass but i'm like okay maybe it's time to get serious because this, this by money this money talk the fact that i had never seen this man before i'm thinking he from corporate or something so I'm like, okay, they got a big dog coming up in here to give us the evaluation. Mind you, he had never seen us work. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly don't. But he sit down. He proceeds to start talking. First, he's like, I'm going to tell you a little about myself. And then he starts to tell me about himself and how long he's been working for Walmart and all that whole rigmarole. Then he was like, tell me a little bit about yourself. I don't say much. I don't remember what I said, but I, I know. I, what did I say? I honestly don't remember what I said, but I didn't say much because, boy, this ain't no damn <laughs> get to know me i don't know then this man slowly started easing into questions like what did he say he said stuff like um how are you being treated do you feel like you're being treated fairly or as a member of this team uh and i answered i don't know whatever i probably said yeah whatever how is your experience been at walmart and what else did he say? He was just asking all kinds of questions, just like Home Depot did. They did the same thing to me. So um, I remember the questions getting like more and more intense and I started getting uncomfortable and I probably was looking guilty as hell. That's when I started swallowing hard. Y'all know them swallows that you could hear? I, I did one of them. So I'm like, oh shit, that probably just messed it up. Okay, so yeah, he started, y'all, I don't know how he eased me into these questions, but it just flowed so naturally. And I imagine he had done like the, this type of interrogation. I don't know, probably dozens of times. So he eased it in real smooth, like. Have you witnessed any theft um, amongst coworkers and, and amongst other like whatever employees? I don't know, I probably said no because uh, what the heck? <laughs> So then he asked, have you yourself ever stolen anything? I was like, yeah, I'm I'm caught and I'm finna lose this job. And yeah, this, this is the end of the road for me, boys to men. Now that we come. Yeah, this is the end of the road. <sighs> Y'all, I knew the jig was up. Not and the I jig. I was too embarrassed to even look at the other manager. Mind you, this whole time we having this conversation, He's talking to me, but he's also doing something on the computer. I don't know if he was taking notes or what, but he was typing on the computer. I don't know. But um, he was like, I probably said no because like I had to answer. I didn't just get up and leave. I um, I said no. And he, I remember him saying something like, We won't get anywhere um, if you're not being truthful and blah, blah, blah. So, excuse me. So, I remember him saying like, it's trying to bargain with me like if you um tell the truth and whatever you can still keep your job and i don't know it was like he was trying to finesse me but i knew he was lying ain't no way you're gonna keep an employee that has admitted to stealing like i knew better i knew better this whole time but i still chose wrong um i was like no i haven't like whatever sticking to my lie like <laughs> i was sticking to my lie because i did not know what was to come next next thing i know this man was like okay well we have you on camera stealing huh come again please come again when i tell you my heart drop and the look on my face probably told on me and i was like i've never sold anything like what are you talking about basically i'm denying 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 so um he proceeds to turn around his little mini laptop and show me taking a coke out of the mini fridge and like popping it open and drinking it talking to some people and then walking away so i'm like huh okay what first of all like i i'm glad he showed me that because now i know how the camera angles look in walmart and it's like if you back up well i mean obviously there's cameras all around walmart but the register cameras if you back up enough from the register they they're not going to see you like from that particular angle so how do you know i didn't go to another register Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was like is that not you 
um taking a beverage out of the mini fridge whatever he worded everything like so proper um so he was like is that not you taking a beverage out of the fridge and blah 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 and i was like that's me and he was like well did you pay for that and i was like uh, i think so and he was like it is you're not on camera paying for that you are not on camera paying for that and i was like but i i, I don't know I was stuck stumbling over my words. Y'all, I'm not good. Like, I'm not a good liar. And I tend to stutter and stumble and my mouth get real dry. And it's bad when I lie. So he was like, again, I will ask you, have you yourself ever stolen anything from Walmart? And I was like, no. And he was like, trying to bargain with me again. And he was like, basically, if I give him my ID card and my social security number, which Walmart already have, then I will be able to keep my job and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, but I've never stolen anything. Like, I don't understand. That's finally when the manager, the lady manager, the CSM chimed in and she was like, but you're on camera. You're on camera. They have it on camera. And I was just like, you traitor ass bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> then like, on, and then after that lady actually had the nerve to try to follow me on social media. He really basically kept saying the same thing. And then I guess at one point it's like they only have so much patience patience with you because when you keep lying, I guess they just like, you know what, fuck it. This whole nice guy act going out the window. So he was like, you can either, he said something, this is not word for word. He said something like, you can either admit to stealing or you can get up, clock out and quit. So obviously I'm not going to admit to stealing. I don't understand why they just didn't fire me. I mean, they pretty much unofficially, officially fired me. They tried to make it like it was my decision, but he basically said the words. But looking back, they didn't. They probably didn't want me to get unemployment, which I wouldn't have even thought about as a 19 year old. I don't even think I knew about unemployment for real. So I got up and I proceeded to walk out. He was like, so you're walking out the door. So you you're admitting to stealing. I was like, I didn't steal nothing. This is when I got mad because the lady manager, she was like, she started grabbing me. Do not grab me. So she grabbed my shoulder and she was like, you need to sit down and you need to uh whatever, like basically like finish this conversation. I was like, I don't want to finish this. It's over, right? You told me to get up and clock out, right? And so you're firing me. And he was, and the lady just started walking behind me or whatever. Y'all, sorry for all the voiceovers. Like I was saying, as me and the lady manager attempting to walk out of the room, the man is attempting to get out of his seat too. And he's saying stuff like, no, nobody's saying that. This is, if you're deciding to walk out, then this is your decision. It's like they wanted to fire me and get rid of me, but they wanted to also flip it like it was my decision and I walked out on a job. I don't know why they was trying to do it that way, but he for sure was going to fire it, me either it, way. Was it the shoulder grab that got me mad actually i think it was like the embarrassment i felt cornered i felt set up like it, all the emotions that i had at home depot but like worse because i did not see this coming at least at home depot i feel like i seen it coming a little bit because of like i had already been in this type of situation this happened first before home depot so i just got pissed like all these emotions like bubbled up quickly so i burst open through them doors and she was like so are, are you going to clock out go ahead and clock out she started getting on the little walkie talkie thing and she was like um so and so is coming up and um, make sure she clocks out and make sure she don't touch nothing and blah 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 i'm gonna keep saying so and so because they used to like to call me by my last name she was just doing her job she didn't have no loyalty loyalty to me she had loyalty to walmart that was who signed her checks oh y'all and i forgot to mention this man started mentioning sam walton like the owner of walmart or the founder of walmart and um yeah he mentioned sam walton i was like fuck you and sam walton and blah 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 so she was like you need to get out this store you need to get out the store hurry up and get out hurry up matter of fact don't even clock out i'll clock you out i'm like i don't trust you i don't trust you i'll clock out i want all my money i want all my money y'all shorted my checks before and blah 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 so i'm going off and, and she was like, well, hurry up and get out the store. Mind you, I hear her keys just w fast walking, just jiggling behind me because she walking so fast. So I'm just pissed, y'all. And I know this shit ain't right, but I did it. Y'all know like the end caps and like the stack of napkins or I don't know what the stack bases. That's what they call them. The stack bases and stuff. So it was like stack bases in the middle of the aisle. I'm knocking that shit down. Don't touch nothing. You're destroying all my property. Um, so and so get on the phone with the police. We have a situation. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, the police? Really? Y'all, I was so mad because for one, me and that particular, if it was any other manager, okay. 
but i really just felt i mean i get it though i did steal from walmart i'm thinking like y'all so fucking dumb out of all the shit that i've actually stole y'all gonna try to fire me over some shit that i didn't even steal probably a coca-cola i probably did but really the thing is i don't understand why they chose the footage of the coca-cola I don't know. It was so much. Let me stop before I incriminate myself. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say shit up. Um, but yeah, so I'm knocking shit over. I hurry up. I walk to the vision center where they sell the eyeglasses, and I get on that computer and I clock out. Mind you, we was in the back. I don't know why I chose to go all the way. Up. Oh, my stuff was up there. That's why. So yeah, I grab my stuff, go to the vision center, clock out. When I was walking to the vision center, she was like, "That that area is closed. Get from out of that area." I was like, "I don't give a fuck." I don't care. I'm in here. I'm in here just being very childish, very disrespectful. And she was like, okay, well, you need to get out. You need to get out. Get out the store. Remove you before I have you removed from the store. Remove yourself from the store. And so she was, I felt like she was antagonizing me. I, because all you had to do was just like have somebody walk me out if that was the case, like they did at Home Depot. But she wanted to speed walk behind me and talk shit the whole time. Maybe she had that bottled up. Maybe she didn't like the fact that I stole from Mr. Sam Walton or disrespect the Walmart. So I'm in the front every, y'all, I didn't even want to look around because I would have gotten like 10 times more embarrassed and tripped over my feet and, I mean, embarrassed, probably tripped over my feet and fell down, something goofy like that. So I didn't even look around me. I just knew that everybody was watching because me and her was actively arguing. Um, As I'm speed walking by, people was like, what's happening? What happened? What happened? Da -da -da. I'm just hearing everything. I'm ignoring everybody speed walking past everybody there was um a stack base of napkins y'all all i remember is punching the shit out of that big ass stack base of napkins and all the napkins falling falling down and it was like a ruckus it was a ruckus i heard her get on her walkie like we need so-and-so out of here now we need her out of here at that point i was fucking shit up and it was close to the door so after that i hurry up and i spell walk out of the door out the door because if anybody else touched me and i wanted to leave before they caught the police i was so fucking embarrassed and honestly what made me remember the situation is i've seen a tiktok recently of this lady just like messing shit up in walmart doing the same thing knocking shit over and i was like bitch i really want to tell this story but it's so embarrassing but yeah i'm telling it so so they had asset protection escort me to my car but i was cool with asset protection i was really just mostly embarrassed so i sped walk in front of him the whole time hurry up got in my car drove off quickly while having a little anxiety attack and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god like i was having like a not anxiety attack but i was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god that did not just happen what the fuck what the fuck like because one i don't have a job no more how am i going to explain this to my aunt and i just I didn't know what the fuck to do. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm alive. Like I'm driving to back home, but I'm like, bruh, I'm supposed to be at work right now. I cannot go home. So I end up calling Dre and I was like, can I come over there or whatever? Obviously, yeah, hell yeah. Cause they stay up till the booty crack of dawn. Like they don't go to sleep till four. He did ask me what happened, but I think I just told him that I called in or something or I left. I don't know. I lied to him because I did not tell nobody what happened. I didn't even tell my best friend what happened. I told her I quit. I was like, oh, that's what happened. So I do call Dre, but on the way, to, I don't stay on the phone with him the whole time. On the way home, I mean, on the way to Dre house, I'll call my best friend. I'm like, fuck Walmart, fuck the da -da. Like, I'm saying everything that I wanted to say to that manager, to her. I'm probably screaming her fucking head off. Y'all know how, when you scream so hard that your ears ring, that's what I was doing. So I'm just venting to her. And she was like, yeah, girl, fuck them, da da da. And mind you, this is around the time of my birthday. So I'm like, I don't give a fuck, whatever. So after i got fired i started pretending like i was going to work every day after that and it was easy because first of all i worked overnight had my own car so i would get dressed for work when i left the house because there was no fucking way that i was telling my aunt i tried to i lingered that out for so long there was no way i was telling her because it was a situation like you either you gonna work while you in this house or you're not gonna be in this house so i wasn't gonna tell her so i would get dressed for walmart this sound crazy i would get dressed for work have um a spare like spare clothes in my car like when my aunt would go to work i would put clothes in a bag in my trunk and i would get it out of my trunk drive around the corner change and then go do what i did i would go to dre house i would go chill with brie i would chill with ariel the other girl from my other story times just i would just be out in these streets until like 5 a.m close to 6 a.m and then i would come home um park around the corner the same place because some a lot of the times it would still be dark 
and change back into my walmart clothes and yeah I, I just went to work i just got off work it's crazy how much sneaking you gotta do in a strict household but yeah that's what i would do my aunt never knew nothing about none of this i told her i quit she probably like i got chewed out i got yelled at and everything else but yeah it was crazy to the point that I never even told Dre the truth. Like, I didn't even tell him I quit. Or no, yeah, I did. Because he he said something to me. And I was like, I quit Walmart. And he was like, I knew it. I knew it. And I was like, how? Because I didn't tell him for a little minute either. Because I didn't want him judging me. I don't know. I, I had to get a step further than I think anybody had ever taken it. So, that was really embarrassing. I can't tell you what to do. But I'm just, through experience, don't steal from your job. And if you're not a working ass bitch, don't confine yourself to a nine to five just to fit society norms, okay? If you know you're not a worker bee, some people are worker bees. I know worker bees. And some people just not that, and I'm not one of them. So that's pretty much it though. Um, um, this is embarrassing. I'm actually really surprised I'm on camera talking about it right now. And say what you want in the comments. Say whatever you need to say. I already know I was wrong. You ain't got to tell me. Please you, listen. I mean, you could tell me. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, please. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you... <laughs> I can't even say let me know if you've been through a situation like this because hopefully you have not. Y'all, I really used to be a different person. I, I, I've done worse. That's all I'm going to say. I've done worse. Leave me a comment, say anything, give it a heart, just leave an emoji, leave some dots. I don't know, leave a letter. Um, I appreciate anything. Everything helps get me through this algorithm. What else? Make sure you subscribe with your bell notification on. I love y'all so, 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 so much. And I appreciate y'all for watching to the end. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to see y'all in my next story time. Bye. First of all, I didn't care because I know when my, my time at a job is coming to an end because of how I start acting at that job. I start doing reckless shit. Just like when I worked at the call center, I knew my time was coming to an end. And that worked out perfectly. Like how I stopped working there and then what happened next, it was it was like perfect timing. So yeah, honestly, and, and I've mentioned this before in my other story times, this woke up my um, my klepto, my inner kleptomaniac because I will go to the mall and allegedly, 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 I'm not finna incriminate myself any farther. And actually, I'm gonna cut that. I'm not gonna say that on camera. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, y'all, I haven't unpacked for real to the point where I'm gonna be already halfway packed for my next trip because I don't like unpacking. <laughs> okay because i got out but this i got out like with no consequences this time but it could have went way left they had all the like evidence to make this go way left allegedly allegedly this is all alleged okay it's all alleged you know i don't know if the feds watching this is all alleged so um allegedly <laughs> so my neighbors is really killing me, stomping around like that. Like, bruh, what is you doing? <laughs> bitch, I don't know. I just gotta say allegedly, cause bitch, I really feel like this story time is incriminating the fuck out of me. So yeah, allegedly. Oh, I gotta make sure I don't have no little slip. Sorry y'all, if I'm showing too much boob, just look at my face. <laughs> I don't know who need to hear this, but don't put your mouth on this. Don't put your mouth on it. Especially not with this monkey pox. If y'all ain't seen my video about the pen, like that's another time I felt like a crackhead. But this one was unnecessary. The other one was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. But this one, ridiculous.